Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. It's the uh, Summer Festival starting today, apparently. So we have the Ribbon Dance experience gained from killing monsters increased by 10%. So yeah, if you have been thinking about coming back to TBC Classic, or starting fresh for the first time, now is a good time to do it. Take advantage of that extra 10% kill experience. Kill experience is really, really big. Uh, leveling up through Classic, it accounts for a large chunk of your overall experience, so... It is a good time to be playing WoW Classic. And thank you guys for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me today. I really do appreciate that. We are going to go into Jintha Allure, I believe. Uh, we have a few things out here. Elegant feathers we can get from the griffins that kind of patrol about. But we kind of like ran all over this place uh, yesterday. So I think I want to go into the pyramid. Uh, things that we're looking for. Let's open up our tracking here. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to be doing some of the Vile Branch stuff. Including uh, Priestess Hex. We also need Vessels of Tainted Blood. Uh, but apparently there's going to be a lot of enemies that we don't necessarily need. So we are going to have to deal with that. Uh, how do we want to deal with that? Do we want to just fight them or do we want to try to avoid those that we can? There's a chest down there. I'd like to find one of these Tainted Bloods to kind of have an idea of what it looks like. That would be cool. Uh, that's not one of them. I'd also like to find some of the guys we need for the kill quest. Berserkers, Shadow Hunters, Blood Drinkers, Soul Eaters. Maybe they're only up here on higher parts of the pyramid. Strangely quiet up here. I have a feeling that we have another player that is a little bit ahead of us. We also saw somebody down the steps a ways. Yeah, we have a warlock up here. Uh, and they're killing shadow casters. I still haven't seen a single one of these items. Probably get some potions going here. Oh, I had a feeling that we were that this was like his pet, but this is not his pet. We're actually fighting this thing independent of anybody else. So Sorry, puppers. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to have a hard time finding this item especially if other players are involved. So the Berserkers we need 10 of, everything else we only need 5 of. So that's good. Uh, we did do a Sunken Temple run, 
and we got this belt. We got two different belt upgrades throughout the run. This one was slightly better than the other. I probably still have the other. Oh, we can't equip that yet. That's not it. That wasn't it either. But yeah, we got two different belts, and this one ended up being marginally better. So yeah, we got an upgrade, sort of. It wasn't a huge upgrade, but it was better than nothing. We also hit level 52, and I went ahead and put the point into cruelty. Six more levels to go, guys, and then we get to step through the dark portal. I'm getting probably too excited for how many hours left I know that we have uh, to get those six levels. Probably a bit too excited. Although I do remember, like, my youth and thinking that, like, I could probably sit down and just play for eight hours straight and I could probably get to 58. That's what that, uh, the 20-year-old in me still says, even though, uh, we are well and truly <laughs> over a decade, almost multiple decades past those days. Uh, but yeah, part of me does want to just, uh, poop socket, if you will, allow the expression here. And uh, just pull like an eight hour day and get it done. If I did that, I probably would not record all of it because a lot of it would just be me grinding mindlessly and silently. Trying to use my brain as little as possible probably to conserve energy. Uh, so I probably won't do that, but, but the thought has crossed my mind many, many times the past couple days as we've gotten closer and closer to 58. The biggest reason I don't do that is because then once I hit level 58, I would probably need a little bit of a break. Uh, and I, I don't want to have to take a break to go into Outland, so... That's the biggest reason why it probably won't happen that way. Probably just continue on, continuing on here. Oh, Rogue. Ooh. My cauldron! <laughs> I'm gonna, like, make them think I'm picking it up. <laughs> My cauldron! <laughs> uh, it's a joke, man. I'm not gonna really take their cauldron, but, but I, I do like how, sometimes how easy it is just to get a reaction out of somebody. <laughs> I think they got the idea that we weren't taking it. And if that's you, I'm sorry. Sometimes I do like to have a little bit of fun. We did almost charge in uh, on their mob, too, and then they probably would have tagged it anyway. But I, I won't run up and take somebody's cauldron. They were quick to type, though. They, they, they saw us, and they were ready to type my cauldron. Uh, we do need hunters. We don't need these hide skinners. So, I can't believe that this zone has been as populated as it has been, that we've been running into so many people. It has to just be the size of the zone. And the question becomes like, yeah, are we going to get any of our own cauldrons? I mean, we'll, we'll claim, we'll see, oh, this is not a cauldron. It looked like one. Okay, so this is a cauldron up here. There he goes again. Yeah, see, part of this is kind of bullshit, because I think the rogue is just, yeah, he's sapping, and so he's going to get all the cauldrons, right? I mean, so, I don't know. Maybe if we swoop in there and get a cauldron, maybe that's fair. Uh, because he doesn't have to fight through all these guys that we are going to have to fight through to even get to a cauldron. So I don't know how charitable I'm feeling all of a sudden. After seeing that little stealth maneuver, I don't know if maybe there won't be some uh, cauldron theft in the future. I could get off this tier and go up a tier and see if uh, see if that helps. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to like get off the same level as this guy so that uh, I don't feel the need to mess with him anymore. Instant profanity will cause me to want to mess with you very badly. Espe if your go-to is to say f off, <laughs> my go-to is typically then to want to mess with you a little bit more. Uh, because then you've revealed that you're the kind of person that has no control over their emotions whatsoever. 
And uh, as a person like that, you're pretty much an easy target for anybody out there who wants to screw you around. My advice to people is if you feel that impulse to tell someone to F off because they walk up to an in-game item that you might want to loot, if you feel that impulse, don't do it. Don't do it. You could even say something else like, really bro? Or rude. But if you immediately get to the point where you want to drop an F-bomb on somebody, just don't. Do something else instead. Because otherwise, um, a lot of people who aren't me, if you say that to them, they are going to take your item. <laughs> because the impulse is definitely there. Look at that, we got our own cauldron. These were more fun when they were elite quests and you had to have at least a few people to come up here. You didn't need a full group. I remember two-manning it in BC with my friend. Back when I had friends. Obviously I don't have friends now because I'm the kind of person that will walk up to your cauldron, pretend like I'm taking it. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really know if we want to keep going up or not. We're kind of approaching, like, the uppermost up that we can up. But there are guys up here we need, and there are cauldrons, so I guess it really doesn't matter. We have a, a turn-in over here for the Vile Priestess Hex. Uh, I don't think we're going to find anything back here. But let's check anyway. Uh, yeah, we found a Shadow Hunter. We need Shadow Hunters. I've been kind of wondering if Blizz would do any kind of like experience buff for like just for people to take advantage of on the eve of like pre-patch coming out in, in, a, in a month or so. I was kind of wondering would they do something like that? Would they give like a bonus experience to like normal TBC servers or would that like upset too many things and people? I don't know. I feel like it would be okay. I feel like if they said, hey, pre-patch is going to be in two weeks from now and we're doing a 30% increase to all experience in TBC. I think that'd be really cool for people, uh, but then again, it, it, it would be counterintuitive to them wanting to do fresh start servers, right? That's why they won't do it. They won't do it because they really want people to go into these fresh start servers that they're going to open up with the pre-patch. And they want people leveling there. Which makes sense. And I highly doubt that they're going to do an experience buff uh, on fresh start servers. So yeah, we won't be... I guess this is as good as it's going to get. Yeah, take advantage of your... Of your ribbon dance buff while it lasts. It lasts for a long time. I think it goes through August, doesn't it? It's weird because the ribbon dance kind of reminds me of like how quickly time passes. I swear I have like vivid memories of like being on characters last year <laughs> and, and doing the ribbon dance stuff. The Blood Elf Paladin being one of those characters. Uh, I think we were like in Ashenvale when we started using it. But yeah, it's been a whole year since then. It's kind of crazy to think about that. Yeah, as you get older, time definitely goes by much more quickly. That is true. Oh, well, that's a nice view. I've never noticed the waterfalls up there before. Very cool. Uh, what's over this way? Blood drinkers.
I don't think I got that shield bash off in time. Didn't feel like it. Sadly, there's no cauldron back here. Which is uh, kind of what I was hoping for. There is a cauldron in here that we're going to grab. Oh, there are two, so if we are lucky, we can grab both. And if somebody comes by, we'll just say, My card cauldron, F off. And then they will they will obviously just F off of us. And uh, they'll leave us all the cauldrons, in fact, after we say that to them. All, th all three of them. This is actually a huge fight, though, because we do need ten of these things, and, uh, we only have a few so far. Yeah, elite villages and elite open world areas were some of the coolest parts of the game that they kind of did take out over time. I I'd like to see a return of, like, questing areas that promoted that kind of group play. Nothing promotes group play anymore in World of Warcraft Retail because of, like, mob sharing. Like, group, you don't have to form a group. If there are other players around, you just get a tag in. But that leaves, like, no accountability to be useful to the group. You know you know what I mean. Like, sometimes you'll just tag a mob and, like, you didn't really have a lot to do with fighting it. You weren't really there the whole time. You don't care about any of the other players or the tank who ate it twice. Uh, you just tag that mob and you get credit for it. That's how elite areas play out now. But I, I would like to see a return to form. And just, like, have actual elite areas. Maybe they're optional. Maybe they're not part of the main quest lines. Maybe they're for different types of rewards. Uh, but just somewhere in the open world where you get to an area and you're like, Nope, I can't go in there without at least a couple buddies. And then if you're like me and you don't have friends, you just invite people nearby and just form a solid group. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like mob sharing, I guess. It's something that's never going to go away. You know, they, you don't introduce a feature like that and then take it away. I, I understand that. But it does change a lot about, like, grouping dynamics, and it, it takes away a lot of reasons to group. In the open world. Well, we're getting the kill quest done, but we need a lot of berserkers, and... I don't know exactly where- they seem like they were maybe on the lower levels? I haven't seen many up here. Blood drinkers... Yeah, we're done with everything except berserkers. And I have a feeling if we turn this kill quest in, we're gonna get another quest to come back here, right? I'm like almost 100% sure of it. So maybe I should head back down and see if I can find some berserkers before we, uh... Before we go too hard up here and we go all the way up and do this stuff, maybe we should just uh, look for our Berserker friends. Get the rest of our Vessels of Tainted Blood and get those turned in. Uh, that's if I could find any berserkers. We're not we're not seeing any. Maybe I need to go down even further. Uh, well, that was a bad place to jump down.
here we go. Yeah, this is the level that we need to be on. Let's go to the axe for a little while. Well, this was a lucrative little plateau for us to find Berserkers on. All right, that's all of the guys that we need. Now we just need to find a couple more cauldrons uh, and we can uh, go turn these in. Yeah, we need one more cauldron actually. Of course it couldn't just be like right here somewhere. That would be too easy. What about uh, down here? Can we see any down here? No, not from this angle. Uh, that's a respawn. That we are apparently fighting now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we also have Bonfire's Blessing. We have a 30% chance to inflict fire damage on any melee or ranged target. So yeah, every once in a while we'll just deal a big old crit, basically. Just for no reason. Inventory is full. Yep, seems like a good time to be headed back. Uh, however... Okay, cool. Uh, there is one over here. Let's just go over here. We're about to pull all these guys, but it's fine. Let's do retaliation. That was a close call on the interrupt. I, I love the guy who's like phased into the hill over here still shooting at us. That's, that guy's my favorite guy. Okay. I'll try to work my way back to the cauldron in case another player comes by. There we go. I took a little bit extra effort than it needed to, <laughs> but we got it done. Let's loot whatever we can loot, and then we will just hearth out of here. Uh, do we have to hearth? We probably don't have to hearth. I, they're really isn't a great reason to hearth right now. We can just run back. It'll only take, uh, like a minute. Valorous leg guards. Yeah, I probably want those to sell more than the troll mojo. So let's do that. Uh, I can mail some stuff to my bank alt as well once we get back to town. That's gonna be a death. Oh, so close. Look at that. Yeah, that was uh, a little bit excessive. I'm actually gonna heal up before I even jump down anymore because uh, I feel like we could still easily die here because of that. Let's not do that again. Yeah, that second jump would have killed us. Uh, I don't know what the quests are here, we could take a look at them. Uh, I don't know if they're like little mini games or what. Relax. Honor the flame. Honor the hinterlands flame. Oh, inventory is full. Yeah, we'll check this out once we uh, take care of some business in town. I, I think we got the green dragon scales from skinning one of the dragons in Sunken Temple, so I'm gonna maybe try to sell those. We'll send them to the bank alt. Oh, the one-headed sword we won on a greed roll, but we absolutely don't need it. Looks cool. This was the other uh, piece of gear that we got, the other waist. 18 strength and 8 stamina. 
Uh, I, go, I chose to give up a little bit of strength for the 22 stamina, so we'll go ahead and sell that. We're just generally kind of running out of space in the inventory. I don't think I'm ever going to use this or get the other item to combine it, but I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, let's see, the green tower shield I think we are done with, right? Yeah, we're using the wall of the dead now, so let's get that out of our inventory. It served us well, but it is time to move on. Yeah, and that's about as good as it's going to get right now, though. A lot of this stuff we are going to mail off. Don't be shy. Dark vessels. The dark energy that compels the vile branch has been lifted for now. We must remain ever vigilant in our battle against evil, as even if... As even if the vile priestess is destroyed, another soon takes her place, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, you are indeed worthy, a worthy candidate for the new position. Accept this trinket as a token of our appreciation. Hey, that's a good trinket. So, yeah, I remember having to get this trinket back in vanilla. Uh, we can, you know, it's nice to have the carrot mount speed 3%, but we will go ahead and take the uh, 20 attack power. So, yeah, that's really good. It's looking good. Uh, let's come down here to the mailbox. And, yeah, we got lots of stuff. Gonna have to do a couple of different mails here, probably. Uh, we'll do all that. Uh, we'll do this. The dragon scales. Oh, we can't... Oh, that's a quest item. The dragon scales we can do. And I think that's it. Yeah, that frees up quite a bit of room. So that's good. This is a quest item. Okay, perfect. Well, not perfect, but better. You know what we didn't do is we, we didn't pick up a follow-up. So yeah, um, I guess we could have stayed up there and did everything all at once, but we did need to come back to empty our inventory, so I'm not exactly regretful. We'll take a look at this quest here and see if we can do anything to get any quick experience similar to like the apple bobbing that you do around uh, Halloween time for the Halloween event. Rooktar. Playing with fire. Uh, the experience this rewards is basically nothing, so. Uh, what about you? Uh, that's decent. Oh yeah, see that's just free experience. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. Good. Uh, just a good chunk of XP. Half half of a quest worth, basically. Just for clicking on the guy. Alright, back up to the pyramid we go. Thank you. 
we are just gonna run like right up to the top I'm probably gonna pull some guys along the way and uh, we'll just see what there is to deal with once we get where we're going we don't have any really big cooldowns that's true it's true uh, we're going this way for sure for sure gonna try to minimize pulling these guys but uh, no doubt we're gonna pull some of them We could have re-upped the flame buff. Yeah, I probably should have re-upped this when we were down there. I'll have to try to get into the habit of doing just that. Now, the only big problem is going to happen if we get dis... <laughs> yes, if we get dismounted. Yes, that is, that is it, game. Thank you. That was pretty much perfect. Uh, luckily, we didn't... We had already dropped our chain, so it really wasn't a big deal. These guys don't care about us. We're a little bit higher level, so they're just trying to ignore us. Okay, back at it. Sorry, excuse us. Just looking for the stairs. Looking for the stairs. Thank you. This is a dangerous little hallway. I think we're going to be okay. Alright, well that was not so bad. I'm assuming that uh, a lot of the guys we need to kill are going to be back in the cave, maybe? Let's go get the ones that we can that are on the outside. It looks like somebody has just been through the cave, so... No guarantee that we're going to find a lot of guys in there right now.
what you want. Later. There we go, that seems like a solution. They don't have the key? Um, what the fuck? Oh, did we not take the quest? Uh Okay. That was a big fail, but at least we got somebody the key, even if that somebody was not ourselves. I'm sure you guys were like yelling at me that we didn't actually take the quest. I guess yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. The the answer is that I wasn't. Okay, we might be able to get out here, talk to this guy. I thought the turn-in was for us going to get the key, and then we would turn it back into him. With the key, to him. With the key. That's what I thought was going on, but apparently not. Did I not finish a dialogue option with him or something? I guess that's the one bad thing about immersion, is sometimes, like, it's not clear uh, if I've taken a quest or not. But I, I guess as long as the thing is above his head, we didn't do it right. Okay, you just hang out for a minute. Let me get this done. Oh, great! Yeah, being perfect. Thank you so much.
Oh, good, and now... <laughs> I hope that because they freed him that we're not going to be able to follow up with it. That would be great. He just disappears. Alright, clicky, clicky. There we go. Now we have the quest to get the stupid key, Robert. Good job. You figured out how to click twice. Back into the cave we go. Of course everything's back up. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I have I have no plans to fight it all again, so we will we will pull whatever we pull to wherever we pull it to, and then we will deal with it. Then we have retaliation back up. We can go sword and board and pop shield wall if we feel like that's necessary. Now the one mob that probably is not gonna be respawned is gonna be the one that we need, right? The body's gone, which means it shouldn't be too long until they respawn. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do a little cut here, and, and I'm gonna sit and drink some coffee as I wait, and you guys don't have to uh, wait with me. That would be unnecessary and rude. Alright, we do have the key now, so let's uh, fight our way out of the cave. Uh, we could definitely jump down over here. Might as well use the last seven minutes of our experience buff to rack in some kills, I guess. And we're already more than halfway to level uh, 53, so yeah, I still feel like that pace is... It's going strong. I swear, if I, if I had the tenacity to just grind out for like an eight-hour day, I think we would get to the Dark Portal doing that. Not that I would advise anybody play World of Warcraft for that long in a single day. Ultimately, it would be an unhealthy and unwise choice. Oh, you're like here. Do I need you? I gotta turn this in first. Oh, I'm a frog. Frogs can't turn in quests because they're frogs. They can't speak. Come on, let me out. <laughs> Oh god. It's all bugged out now. Yeah, I don't know like if we needed him for this, but oh, we've already we've already killed her, I guess. We freed him. She's just going to keep turning us into a frog because that's what she does. All right, so this was the elder that we freed. Huntsman Melkor's Bones. Alright, what are Huntsman Melkor's Bones, and why can they be found in two very distinct different parts of the, of the map? It's a little bit troubling. We're gonna have to come down here and look. Uh, which is not something I really want to do. I really want to focus on, like, you know, hearthing out of here, but... Supposedly, we can find these bones nearby. Uh, or we can find them quite far away, one or the other. Uh, are we going to have a way to even get in there?
Here we go. Yeah, I just... Sometimes when I think I'm done with an area, I'm just really, really ready to be done with it. And then I, I can easily get annoyed by there being too many more things left to do that I did not notice. That is something that happens to me. I set an expectation for myself, like, oh, I'm going to hurt out of here. And then I see some other objective that I just totally missed. I'm like, oh, I don't get to do that now. <laughs> Plan ruined. And we're going to come down here. My, my greatest worry about stuff like this is we're going to take the time to come down here. But is the item going to be here? Ah, it has apparently a 50-50 chance. Had to fight through some jade sludges to figure it out. Let's just keep pulling these guys. We're low on health. That was a mistake. Uh, and... Okay, yeah, his bones are here, so... There we go. Let's do this. Oh, you're all fear immune. That that wasn't really part of the plan. Let's do uh, retaliation in that case. Okay, perfect. Okay, now can I hearth out? Uh, no, I need- that's a different item, and it's his skull, because Robert is still not reading the quest. Is there a way to get out of here without fighting more guys? Absolutely not. Let's do this. <laughs> there we go, it had to happen. Why wouldn't it happen? I can't tell if this is in the pyramid or not. I guess it is in the pyramid and it's going to be one level up from where we are now. Sometimes the map gets so cluttered that I absolutely fail to see, like, the multiple objectives we have in a small area. Can we use Mortal Strike in Berserker Stance? And why did I not think that we could? Oh. Okay then. Well that changes a couple of things. What can't we do? And Berserker Stance. We can't Thunderclap. Uh, we can't Rend. We can Hamstring. Okay. Good to know. Maybe we will be using that more. Maybe you guys will get your wish, and in AoE groups, I might actually go into Berserker Stance and do a little bit of AoE. Now, but don't tell me to do Blade Flurry or whatever it is, because that is deep into the Fury Tree. I don't think we're going to get uh, Sweeping Strikes. <laughs> so, don't tell me to use Sweeping Strikes. Uh, okay, that is it. These, uh, do we want to do this? It seems like kind of a pain. I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. We're going to have to hunt those guys down. There there weren't a ton of those griffins. It seems like they were a few and far between. Let's get all this stuff turned in and see where that leaves us. Uh, this lady is up top. How are you? Oh, uh, we could take the bow. I feel like I still just want the stamina, but having some agility might not be bad. And what else? Ooh, stamina and intellect. Oh, that's not what we need, though. <laughs> Strength, 
agility and stamina. Uh, we can see how that compares. I don't think it's going to be better than what we have, but we can take a look. So, we're losing stamina and attack power, but gaining strength and agility. And gaining, we're getting one stam overall. Let's take a look at our stats here and see what it does to like our power. Now, see if damage goes down. Everything goes down, so yeah, not, not an upgrade. What about here? I feel like that might be better. Okay, uh, let's get the other one turned in, turned in even. How you doing, man? And yeah, guys, I think that's most of what we're going to do here. I might go do this one on my own. It seems like it's going to be one of those like long, grinded out quests where you have to run around like we were doing before. Run back and forth through the zone, looking for like the few enemies that you can find. So I might grab the, uh, the fire buff later, and I might just grind out the last uh, level 52 to get us to level 53. But I, I think now that we are going to be level 53... We're probably going to want to go back to Tanneris. We have some stuff in Feralus to turn in. So yeah, I think I'm going to get these turned in. And then I think it's time to tackle some of the other stuff we have going on in Tanneris. So that will be the plan for now. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And as always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.